Hi guys, welcome to another exclusive interview. I've got 1500 meter runner Charlie Grice here. Charlie. What's up guys, what's happening? We kind of came into our athletics at major championships team together. We did, um, yeah. Back in Tommy Bottle. Got yeah. back a long way. Um, starting in 2014 in Zurich. Yeah. Um, and then ever since we've kind of been on the same teams and stuff. So we've, we've had uh, some fun times to say the least. Uh, lots of holding camps last year. We were in Font de Moe sharing an apartment together for like six weeks in the lead up to Rio which was good fun and uh, yeah lots of lots of fun times and many more ahead. So talk us through Rio, um, you know you had a great Beijing World Championships 2015 you finished ninth yeah. just behind yeah. Sir Matt Centro. Yeah. So talk us through how, how did Rio uh, go for you? Yeah it was, it was, uh, it was good fun uh, obviously Becoming Olympian, big target of mine and stuff, and uh, my target was to reach the final. And I'm sure it's everyone, lots of people watching, athletics fans at home know that the 1500 meters is a tactical event. And this year was the slowest, so it was Rio last year was the slowest 1500 meters ever, and no one could predict that. Matt ran an amazing race, like fair play to him, and uh, it's nice to see. Uh, Matt win because yeah. I've trained yeah. with him a few times and stuff so uh, it's good and uh, looking ahead to this year London uh, World Champs in, in August so that's a big another big target and uh, we both missed London uh, Olympics it will be real really cool just to have friends and families watching local support and uh, I know it's going to be a good turnout so it's very motivating yeah. it's going to be insane yeah. hopefully yeah. and has has 2017 kind of gone to plan? I know you've had a couple yeah. of little niggles, but you're yeah, out there in great, um, great shape. I mean, to, to be in the best shape, everyone's part and parcel of the sport isn't getting niggles, and that's the thing that you put all the work in and just got to get to the start line healthy. And to, to, to be in the potential of getting those medals, you've got to push hard. And uh, like last year, I was struggling with a torn plantar, partial torn plantar this summer, and that was pretty tough because I couldn't do the training that we wanted to do. Whereas this year, touch wood, <laughs> um, um, everything's going good so far, apart from I tore my Celeste before the indoors. I think I rushed back a little bit too quick. I wanted to really target the Europeans, but now uh, I'm, I'm all healthy. Life's a nice, slow, long build up. Need to get the qualifying time this year um, as well. And you'll end, up, you'll end up in the summer fresher almost. Exactly. Uh, a lot of people skip indoors, don't exactly, they? Just mate, so they yeah. focus on and, uh, it is good. I always like to think of, think of the positives, you know, if you get injured, you, you analyse your weaknesses and you improve on something. If it goes smooth sailing, you, you, you take your foot off the gas a bit. I think it's, so. it's a professional way of looking yeah, at it. Yeah, you've got to be positive, right? So, the serious stuff aside, yeah. uh, a, few, a few tactical questions. <laughs> 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 you put me uh, on the spot. Uh, yeah, so, no, nah, 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 these questions are alright. So, if you're like, uh, if you weren't a 500 meter runner, yeah. what, what event would it be within track and field? Oh, within track. Ooh. It's boring to say 800. I mean, I, I'm, I'd say I'm a pure miler. Like, I run 15 and 8. I wouldn't never move up to the 5. No. Um, bottom heavy with these legs. I struggled on the long run today. But no, I want to run more 8s, and I think I've got a lot more potential in the 8s. Okay. My body can hold up. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so, so what do you sleep in? Pants? What do I sleep in? Uh, mm. So pants, boxes, pajamas, or a nude. I used to sleep in uh, PJs, nice checkered, loose fit yeah, PJs. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm actually nude. Oh. Yeah. Well, I there started, you go. started nude, and, and now you never go back. After race, how would you, how do you? What is it you use to unwind? Do you have uh, beer? Do you go out in town, have a takeaway, just chill? Oh, I love, do like a good social drink, yeah, but try and minimise that. Yeah. Nice food, just go out, relax with friends and stuff. I mean, yeah. the training, as you know, is non stop, so it's, it's kind of April, May comes along and you just kind of gets pretty serious, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, exactly, most of the winter exactly. you can have a bit of fun as long as you're putting the work in. Mental switch off, and yeah, like that. and I've uh, got a sweet tooth as you have. <laughs> <laughs> got to watch Remember your donuts. The, uh, the raids, uh, yeah. night time raids. You love a good midnight, midnight yeah. up bowl of cereal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've got one, one other personal question. Okay. Would you ever marry inside the sport? Because some Ooh. people say they never would. It's hard to, to know. I mean, when the right person comes along, I mean, that person hasn't come along yet, but um, we'll wait and see. Maybe on the circuit I might find that special someone. Well, you seem to spend a lot of time with Farrow anyway, so yeah. who knows well. what's going on there at that moment. <laughs> Charlie, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, yeah, man. Nice to
Hello guys, that was the camera. <laughs> Please follow <laughs> us, like us, and subscribe this channel. Don't forget, look at the beautiful.